Hello, I thought I'd make some videos about things I have encountered and ideas I've had during the year or so with the RC hobby, especially with my quadcopters. For the off chance that they provide useful for somebody else and to report back my findings to the community, the good wannabe scientist I am. The first thing I would like to talk about is the different kinds of orientation aids I have tried on my quad what problems they have and which of them I find useful. So, because I'm not an expert RC pilot and do not possess infinite concentration and spatial awareness, like probably most people, I need some kind of aid to help me see the orientation of the craft, even after a distraction or a lapse in concentration. I have therefore tried the most common alternatives I have with the frame I have bought, Firstly, it comes with a bar with a foam ball, sometimes called the ping pong bar, and it's kinda okay when flying at close range. I have also bought different colored booms and props, which seems to be the more common solutions, and some frames come out of the box with different colored booms. The common problem with all the color based solutions, and often also with the ping pong bar, is that they become useless very easily. If you put too much distance between the craft and yourself, all of the little details like color or other physical distinctions become hard to make out and certain lighting conditions turn your craft to a black silhouette against the sky anyway. After a serious mishap, which might have been preventable with a better grasp of orientation, I turned to LEDs for a solution and I have now tried two different approaches. One is to use LED strips with multiple low-power low LEDs and the other is to have single powerful LEDs. Whichever, they do wonders and make things so much better. The LED strips are often simple to integrate to a power system. They are often designed to be used with 12 volts, so they can be used straight from 3S batteries or a 12 volt BEC. There already seem to be plenty of videos that describe the usage of those kinds of strips. High power LEDs, however, are a completely different story. Often with LEDs, a resistor is used to limit the current to an acceptable value, so not to burn out the LED, and the aforementioned strips include such resistor in their build. The use of such a resistor with a power LED, LED, however, is not very practical, since all the voltage that exceeds the threshold voltage of the LED must be turned to heat. This would make for some very hot resistors and a lot of wasted energy. One solution is to use an adjustable step-down converter or a switching mode regulator, whichever naming you prefer. The trick is to adjust the voltage of the converter to a point where the LED is at a preferred brightness, but of course below such voltage where it becomes too hot or burns out. Then to my actual hardware. I usually shop at Hobby King and they have selections of LED strips in different colors and lengths. You can get them almost anywhere, but theirs have the advantage of already having a GST plug. I bought six strips in red, green and white, two of each, and a ready-made power distribution cable so it can be plugged straight to the balance plug of a 3S battery. My new favorite, however, are the super bright 3W LEDs. You don't even have to run them on full power and they are still bright enough to see even with the sun behind the craft. Now, as discussed before, Powering these LEDs is not as simple as with the strips. There is also the issue of different threshold voltages on different colored LEDs. My solution was to use a small adjustable step-down converter from DX and to drive two sets of LEDs in parallel, where each set contains one green and one red LEDs in series. This way the threshold voltages of the sets should be close enough and the threshold voltage itself something usable and still way below the minimum voltage of a 3S battery. 
So the super bright LED option requires a bit more tinkering, soldering and knowing what you are doing. But I would recommend them for anyone who has problems with grasping orientation with their quads. The color and placement of the LEDs, by the way, is totally up to your own preferences. I, however, prefer the international standard for navigation lights style, even though the lights on your quad don't have anything to do with actual navigation lights on an aircraft. That is, green on right side, red on left side. I found that more than else, I had problems with right and left while flying reversed, that is, the front towards me than with forwards and backwards, and I suggest you give that a thought, even though most people seem to prefer a car-style lightning. That's it for today. Maybe I will make some more detailed videos of any of the previous subjects if there seem to be any demand for such, or maybe I won't. It depends whether I can overcome the hurdle of making my first talky explainy video on YouTube. Thanks for watching.